Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday, and as always, be sure to like and provide comments. There are a lot of both free and paid services available to prevent or mitigate identity fraud. Please check out my previous video, Free Identity Theft Protection Advice in Dark Web 101, and I go into really specific detail on this topic. However, my quick 10-point checklist on ID theft protection is as follows. One, make a list of all your online accounts and categorize to help prioritize accounts to secure first. So think about creating a checklist of your financial accounts, your social media accounts, and your entertainment accounts. Number two, make an offline list on paper of all your accounts and passwords and store in a secure location. Number three, get your yearly free credit report from all three credit bureaus to get a baseline on your credit history. Tip number four, leverage free dark web scans of emails, SSNs, and phone numbers that are available from several vendors. Tip number five, if you do have kids, freeze your child's credit file if they're under the age of 16 across all three credit bureaus. Number six, lock your credit file in at least one bureau with, an, with online services. Three is ideal and they are mostly free um, but unfortunately, they're not coordinated, so you can't just do it with one bureau and expect your, your credit file to be locked across all three. You kind of need to do, you would have to manually do it across all three. So I recommend at least doing it on one of them, and, and chances are that'll at least help mitigate. Number seven, make sure your home Wi-Fi network requires a password to access it. Number eight, uh, have a fake email and random password um, for non-essential online accounts you create. So, um, for example, if you're using, you know, Ryanair or Pottery Barn or, you know, Gardening.com or whatever the, are the kind of non-essential vendors you work with, um, use a separate email that's separate from your main email that's tied to things like your financial accounts. Um, there is the Google Password Checkup extension. Um, if you are using Chrome, um, it is built into the newer versions of Chrome, but if you are using an older version, check out uh, Google Password Checkup extension. What that will do is when you are using the Chrome browser and logging into different websites, it will check if your um, account and password combination have been potentially part of previous breaches and then recommend you change it. And then number 10, uh, use two-factor authentication, 2FA as it's called, on all important accounts if they exist. So with two-factor, what you do is you need a, both a password and also you'll receive a text message with a PIN to log into accounts. Um, so definitely do this for your financial accounts and more and more other services, um, whether that are starting to offer this type of login. So if it is available, make sure you enable it and leverage it. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.